Oh, no, 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 no. Nobody is putting their finger in my ass again. Unless it's Kyle. <laughs> Exploratory medicine, visitor pass revoked, and things are snot what they seem. Snot polite. Today we are back at it, breaking down and reacting to the most cringeworthy medical scenes and over the top injuries from South Park number 15. Let's dive right in. Someone just has to activate it like a proctologist did. Oh, no, 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 no. Nobody is putting their finger in my ass again. Unless it's Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> there are times when doctors have to do a DRE, a digital rectal exam. Sometimes we're looking for internal hemorrhoids or feeling your prostate or feeling the integrity of the wall of the anus and the distal end of the rectum. What? No way! You do it, Kenny. Nope, it has to be Kyle. Humans, we come in all different varieties, shapes, and sizes, right? And some individuals' fingers are very large and long versus some are like very skinny and short, so maybe that's why he's picking Kyle. I'm not putting my finger up Carmen's butt. Kyle, the fate of the world may be at stake. Come, Kyle, do hurry. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, it won't bad. Oh my gosh, put a glove on, come on. And you need to use lubrication. That does it, charge! <gasps> What the heck is the holy cow? This is a huge satellite. I have seen many different foreign objects accidentally found in the rectum. Sometimes people obviously will tell us that there's something in there versus they fell on it, so to speak. A lot of times we'll get images, make sure there's no perforation of the bowel, see how far up it is, is there's ability to get it out. We will attempt to get it out in the emergency department. We might use a little bit of sedation, but if it's too far up, we actually would have to have somebody go into the operating room for possibly a colonoscopy or a sigmoidoscopy. Out front of the stem cell research facility with terrific news. Christopher Reeve claims that he can now stand. Wow, so Christopher Reeve, that was the original Superman for all of you out there who don't know. He had a high cervical injury. Injury, I believe, and he had, was in a wheelchair and had a tracheotomy for, to help him breathe. Stem cells, obviously a, an important topic, could be controversial. To most people, this is just an ordinary fetus. But to people like me, it's hope. Uh, yeah, um, you wouldn't just be having this fetus laying around. <gasps> no! no! No, that is not how this works. That is awful. You're using cells. You're not actually using the body in that way. You're not ingesting them. Oh my God. What an inspiration. Man, that's just disturbing. You know, you can use amniotic fluid in similar circumstances. And then there's other technologies like CRISPR, which has to do with gene modification. Tom, many celebrities have spoken out in protest of stem cell research, but after seeing this, how can they protest now? Oh my gosh. Stay clear, guys. Stay clear. Yep, <laughs> I'm not saying anything. A lot of amazing things can happen and a lot of things that could potentially be scary in the sense of abuse and not being regulated. <coughs> oh, geez. Here, give me another one. Give me another one. <coughs> oh, dude, really I'm, like, I'm like, are they all sick? No, they're trying to smoke a cigarette. <coughs> oh, here comes Mr. Maggie. Throw away. <coughs> oh, jeez. Dude, here he comes. So why are you coughing so much, right? You're literally inhaling smoke into your lungs. Of course, it's an irritant. Your lungs don't want that in there. It's going to cause you to cough. Please, don't smoke. Oh, are they gonna puke or are they trying to cough? Yep. Ah, sick! Gross, dude! Was that all phlegm? Oh, that was all phlegm. Gross. A lot of people can't deal with like phlegm and spit. Colors of the phlegm sometimes matter, sometimes doesn't. So they'll be yellow or green. Green. Could be related to what type of cells are being broken down. Doesn't necessarily mean what type of infection you specifically have. Well, hey, if I didn't know any better, I'd think you boys have been smoking. No. <laughs> 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 Look at how stringy this phlegm is. It can be very nasty and stringy like that. Well, you better not, because let me tell you something about smoking. Uh, smoking's bad. 
Yep, the dumpster is now on fire. fire. So many people smoke cigarettes and they throw them out the window, throw them out in the environment, it's polluting. And if there's still some ember there, then it could catch on fire, especially if an area that might be very dry and increase the risk of burning down buildings, forest fires, the works. If you start smoking at an early age, Okay, it's gonna be bad. The temperature would be increasing around you. I think you would notice. And if you're that close to the fire, the smoke is actually going to start bothering you and causing you to cough and hurting your eyes. We do see a lot when people come in after smoke inhalation, you'll have some redness to the sclera. Smoking can lead to all kinds of health problems like cancer. The biggest thing we worry about is just to make sure that the lungs look okay, make sure there's no massive inflammatory reaction, as well as make sure that there's no spasming or inflammation of the airway itself. Okay, let me tell you something about cancer, okay? Uh Cancer's by. The other concern is you're worried about carbon monoxide because of the different materials that could be burning. Hi, we're here to visit our good friends Tweak and Craig. Oh, well, I suppose a quick visit is okay. Maybe you kids can cheer them up. Yeah, obviously visiting somebody in the hospital is a nice thing to do, but if you're under age, they're gonna want a parent with you. The hospital needs to know who's in the hospital, who's walking around. You'll get a guest or visitor pass. Multi-pass. And there's specific visiting hours. You can't just show up at any time of day. Hey guys, how are you feeling? Uh, uh well, uh, we just came by because we have something to tell you. Yeah, see, we got you to fight just because we wanted to see who was the toughest. We made up all that stuff we said to get you guys mad at each other. Left eye swollen shut. Could be many different things. You can actually fracture a bone around the eye and then accidentally sneeze and then have your tissue fill with air and then it seals it shut. The eyeball itself could actually be just fine. Unfortunately, if I were to see this in the emergency department, I'm going to try to actually pry those eyelids open. We'll just live with the knowledge that you're both kind of sissies. Oh. What? Well, I mean, that's what was on the news. What was on the news? Oh, you didn't see it? Uh, Tweak's family was on the news saying what a wuss you are, Craig. Huh? Yeah, and then Craig's family came on and said Tweak was the wuss, and then punched Tweak's mom in the hooters. Looking at the EKG monitors or the cardiac monitors in the back, the rhythms are all over the place. If you are moving and getting excited, the rhythms will change. You need to remain really still to get a baseline. You're not even close to baseline. And then we will repeat it as things evolve, but this way we are aware of what's going on with the body in those moments. I've seen patients' families get into arguments, and I've seen patients yell at each other through the curtains, but nobody actually getting out of bed and causing a ruckus like this. The nursing staff and the techs on the floor of the hospital will be aware of what's going on. South Park always has good medical topics to talk about. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you guys enjoyed watching this show, definitely check out this playlist right here. And as always, make sure you subscribe, turn your bell notifications on, and hit that like button for me. Also, big new things on the horizon. Check out my brand new supplement company, Life Happens. Thanks so much for watching, and stay healthy, my friends.